All right, what's going on, man? It's Cool Water again with another podcast. Uh, inevitably, getting kind of getting my feet wet. I didn't put out a number of podcasts. I'm going to actually do it right, which means, you know, it'll be more of a real show versus a diary audio blog, so to speak, where I'm just jumping right in to say, you know, coming with no with no hat on for those folks that know what I mean. But until that time, uh, which, you know, won't be long, but like I said, I got to play around with some, some sounds and really looking to do a, a really tight production so I, you know, can represent quality. But um, I wanted to speak. I went to the movies uh, this past weekend and seen the Belco experiment. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Um, a lot of folks ain't paying attention to it probably, but it's on the level of a purge. If you've seen purge, then you can kind of relate to the bell call. And the bell call basically deals with a group of individuals who um, were hired to work for a company internationally, uh, somewhere in South America or uh, Mexico area or something to that effect. And the uh, company was conducting a human trial experiment in the same sense. In which case, that trial was to see how folks reacted under pressure when they were placed in extreme conditions, dealing with murder, death, suicide, uh, betrayal, and things of that nature. So, you know, Hollywood is putting out a lot of futuristic movies um, in which case a lot of that stuff has some validity you know it comes to pass like Purge you know that was real wicked but uh, to see a company or should I say to see the government allow for the killing of individuals amongst individuals to basically help with population control is something that most people can't fathom. It's hard for me to fathom it myself, but I can see them doing it because they do everything else uh, that's outlandish. So, Belco came off in that kind of realm and the game hunter, if you will, the person that was conducting the experiment basically gave them so many hours to kill and murder X amount of employees. Uh, which was also funny was the aboriginals or the people of the land or the people that work for that company that opted out of the um, corporate control, they were sent home. You know, they, they held on to their indigenous rights as a people and um, they were sent home that day. But the folks that came from the US, those folks wasn't sent home. Those folks went through the trial and error. So immediately, once the game was on, people's true colors started to come out, started to show, and fear set in, anger set in, betrayal set in, murder set in, suicide set in, and these people began to act like rats in a lab trying to figure out how to get out the building. And the building was locked down so nobody could leave until the last person was alive who survived the experiment. So, I think The Bell Call was another movie that is actually foretelling what some corporations or some individuals would go through to gain data um, data statistics what, what they would go through for, for great lengths to figure out another means another form of controlling the people and one of the things that I found to be very very interesting was each one of them employees had a microchip in the back of their head and if they did not follow suit with what was asked, the microchip exploded immediately and the person was instantly killed. 
another indication, another form that the mark of the beast is here. It ain't nowhere. It ain't no far fish fantasy. It's right here. It's on the. It's 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 it's, it's on the. It's on the planet. It's it's, op it's operational. The RFID chip is operational. It's ready to go. People got it. You just don't know. Some of them got it. But I found that to be very strange because the people was chipped up. And the folks that actually were from that country apparently did not take the chip, did not opt into giving uh, the U.S. corporate entity total control over them. So they didn't incur the damage that was done to the people that actually worked from the you know worked worked for that company from out of the U.S. So I think the bell call was another example of futuristic actions that may come in the future. Um, you see Donald Trump ex exercising e extreme dictatorship, firing the FBI uh, uh, director, um, just total control, you know, no regard for process, due process of how things should be looked into or ran or, or, or done. He just he just get right to chopping heads off. And, and that's a scary situation. The, the illegal immigrants that they keep running up on, they immediately detaining them and they immediately trying to send them back to Mexico. I mean, you know, no real due process, no real thorough investigation of what's going on. Just get them out of here. And, and with that type of power and that type of control, I can only see the corporate entities and the corporate structure of America uh, exercising uh, its power and whatever mean necessary to gain and continue to gain control and stay in charge of America. Um, so for those folks that's, you know, into movies like that, I would definitely suggest you go see the Belco Experiment um, check out the psychology of the people, check out the behavior, the mannerisms, check out uh, the betrayal, the fear, the onslaught of uh, murder between friends, one's friends, now enemies. Check out everything. And, um, you know, come back and let me know what you think once you once you uh, get an opportunity to see the movie. It's Cool Water, check me out, it's Hip Hop Dead dot com, it's hiphopdead.com and the digital dope man dot com. Peace.